Watching Barack Obama last night, who was reportedly the architect of kicking Joe Biden to the curb, of making him drop out of the race, call Biden, oh, my brother. Oh, people said that was such a good decision I made. I'm not, I, I can't even play it. I, I, I'll play Michelle here because the hypocrisy of Michelle Obama is so stunning. Uh, and the Democrats, this is their power couple. This is who they love. Obama throws Joe Biden down the steps and laughs at him and then shows up and tries to praise him. Incidentally, where was Joe Biden last night? <laughs> he's back on a beach chair somewhere. You think he he's out. He didn't even bother to show up for the Obamas. Heck, Kamala wasn't even there last night. She was over in Milwaukee. She doesn't. I love the Jesse Waters characterization uh, on Fox News. The Obamas hate the Bidens. The Bidens hate the Obamas. The Bidens hate Nancy Pelosi. And the Clintons hate everybody <laughs> in their party. You got protesters burning flags and fighting and knocking down barricades outside the convention last night. Oh, yeah, there's nothing but joy, peace, love, and unity. I just saw a video clip of that uh, that conservative influencer, Jack Posobiec. He, he confronted Eric Holder in the convention hall and said, why didn't you guys vet Tim Walsh? Apparently, reportedly, Eric Holder, the former attorney general, sh shrieked at Jack, Pos Jack Posobiec, you're a fool, and then said, F you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they go low, we go high, baby. We go real high. Let's talk, speaking of high. Let me let, let me play a clip of Michelle Obama for you. Now, this this is so astounding. How do you do you think Michelle and Barack Obama live in a oh, I don't know, a 3 or 400,000 dollar home in the woods somewhere? Do you know what their net worth is today? Do you know where they live today? It's a beautiful, beautiful place. I went years ago, Martha's Vineyard, right up, beautiful, beautiful homes and water views. Now, check this out. Michelle Obama, check out the house that the Obamas live in. It's valued at 12 12 million dollars they have a home that boasts eight bedrooms eight bedrooms they have seven bathrooms because i mean you can never get enough bathrooms i mean this is a magnificent palace mansion 12 million dollar home yeah you now you live in a 12 million dollar home that that's real money that's not chump change. Listen to what she said last night about wealthy people, I, I guess, like her. You see, my mom, in her steady, quiet way, lived out that striving sense of hope every single day of her life. She believed that all children, all, all people, have value, that anyone can succeed if given the opportunity. She and my father didn't aspire to be wealthy. In fact, they were suspicious of folks who took more than they needed. They understood that it wasn't enough for their kids to thrive if everyone else around us was drowning. I don't mean I, I I'm tr I promise you I'm not trying to be petty or mean or or a jerk here, and I know that Michelle lost her mother apparently a few months ago and that's sad and I know she loves her parents. There's no question. I'm I, I don't want to be I don't want to lose my hu humanity here, but let's just take her at face value. If her own mother was suspicious of wealthy people who took more than they needed. Do you really need an eight-bedroom home on the water in Martha's Vineyard? Do you really need a home with seven bathrooms? How much do you need? So was Michelle Obama talking about herself? 
and, and, and I'm not trying to be a smart aleck here, legitimate question, honest question. If that's the credo that the Obamas, li- or, or whatever her maiden name is, Robinson, I think, if the Robinson family's mantra was, gosh, I'm suspicious of you rich people, you rich people, and that's the foundation of Kamala Harris's economic policy. Right now, Kamala Harris has revealed even more of her economic policies. Now, we know price controls are on the table. She wants to raise the corporate tax to 28%. She wants to raise the capital gains tax 44.6%. And she, you, want, she, you know what she wants to, she, how she wants to tax wealthy people like the Obamas? 25% tax on unrealized capital gains. You know what that means? Let me give you an example. Let's say that the Obamas bought their mansion at Martha's Vineyard for $6 million. But today, it's worth $12 million, which is a very real proposition all over the country. Under Kamala Harris, under President Kamala Harris, oh my gosh, even saying those words makes my skin crawl. Under President Kamala Harris... Wealthy people like the Obamas would be forced to pay a 25% tax on the $6 million unrealized profit. In other words, profit they've never seen. They didn't sell the house. So if the house is worth $6 million, I want you to know what a 25% tax on unrealized gains means. The house is worth, they bought it for six. Now it's worth 12. Kamala Harris wants to tax the Obamas 25% on the $6 million gain that they've never realized. They've kept the house. They've never sold it. But they got to pay a 25% tax on the $6 million gain. That is the honest-to-gosh Kamala Harris economic proposal. 25% tax on unrealized gains for high, high net worth individuals. Now, economists fear once you crack that door open on high net worth individuals, it's just a matter of time before it affects everybody else. They'll do the same thing. If they can get away with that, you know how the government works. You know how Democrats work. Give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Um, imagine that. And, it, and incidentally, if the house is worth six, $12 million and you got to pay 25%, on the six million dollar, you know, gain, but the market crashes, something happens, whatever, and you only sell the house for six million dollars. You've paid a twenty five percent tax on the gain that you'll never ever realize. You'll never get back because I mean, you lost it. You flushed it down the toilet. You gave it to the government. That's Kamala Harris. That's Kamala Harris. That's that's her economic blueprint. Price controls, 28% corporate tax, 44.6% capital gains tax, 25% tax on unrealized gains. This is the lunacy of Kamala Harris. 800-655-MIKE, 18 minutes before the hour. 800-655-6453. Meanwhile, I I just want to make sure, I don't want to torture you with some of the uh, ugliness from last night's night two of the DNC. But let me give you a little example of uh, this Michelle Obama. She, of course, the media is going goo goo gaga over Michelle. Oh, she was so good. Oh, what a night. What a moment. Here's an example of playing the race card, divisiveness, ugliness, really, really nasty stuff. that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good stuff. That, that, that was the biggest uh, ovation of the night, by the way, when she, played, she pulled out the race card and said, who's going to tell Donald Trump that the job he's seeking might go to a, be one of those black jobs? Rocky's in Madison, North Carolina. How you doing, Rocky? Nice to talk to you, Mike. Nice to talk to you as well. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I, I just 
just wanted to throw that out there about Michelle Obama. You know, it, it was, you know, eight years of racism and division with the Obamas in office, and, and the first chance she got, she's right back to the race card. That's what they do. And, and That's you know, what these Democrats do. You're no question about it. I know the mainstream media is having spasms of ecstasy over the Democrat National Convention this week in Chicago with, you know, the rioting going out outside and the flag burning and the fighting with cops and Michelle Obama up there uh, scolding people with wealth, (laughs) which that to me is the funniest image of all. Go check out the Martha's Vineyard property where she and President Obama live. Oh, my gosh. But, hey. Her quiet mom and dad never trusted people, wealthy people, who took more than they needed. I think uh, Michelle's speaking fee is $850,000. $850,000 a pop to give a speech. And she wants to wag her finger at people who take too much. (laughs) You just can't believe it. Uh, Barack, of course, says that Trump is just runs on fear. So you got to vote for Kamala, Kamala or democracy will die. Bernie Sanders last night trashes billionaires and then hands off to a portly governor who brags about being one. J.D. Pritzker is a billionaire. He inherited it. He's an heir to the some big hotel chain fortune. And he got up there and bragged about how wealthy he is while trashing Trump, of course. This party is a three-ring circus, a dumpster fire, a catastrophe all rolled into one.